Hey there, it's Lynette Chandler. This time around, I want to show you two different ways you can paste something in Affinity. And this works for Affinity Publisher and Affinity Designer. Up on the screen here, what is three different objects on a page? Actually four. I have it open in Affinity Publisher, but I have it switched over to the designer persona, which is very helpful when you are creating shapes and elements and stuff that you want to put in your document. I've also styled these elements in different ways. So let's take a look at them. The first element over here, you will see that it has a brown outline with an orange fill, and that's about it. On this element, it has a black outline, but the outline cannot be seen because when I click on it, over here you see that the outline width is set to none. What's not shown here though is this shadow. This shadow is created using effects over here on this panel. And you can see that it's checked. I have an outer shadow checked. If I drop down on it, it will tell me all the different settings that the shadow is set at. And if I click on this little gear, it will give me a little bit more options than it has over here. Just a little bit more. I can change it anywhere I want to. I can uh, change the opacity of the shadow and so on and forth. And over here, the last object, it has the brown outline and the orange fill, but it doesn't look anything like this first object. That's because everything you see here is styled using the effects panel. For example, I have the outer shadow, which is the light green here. So if I uncheck that and I check it back again, you see that. It also has an orange outline that will override the normal. Okay, if I drop that down, you see that. If I uncheck, you see it's gone. I check it back again and it's back. And finally, it has a gradient overlay that's this nice gradient color here. And if I uncheck that, it will revert to orange and the outline color comes back too. And the gradient overlay comes back as I check that box. So let's assume you have created a design and you have multiple objects with multiple styles and effects, and you want to apply one of these to this new object here, but you really don't want to go back here and redo this effects and styling because it's just a lot of time. Can you imagine if you have 10 of these triangles that you want to apply this to? Sure, you can select all of them and do the fill color and the outline color at the same time. But what's actually easier would be, okay, let's just duplicate this a few times. And we select the object we want to pull the style from. We go up here, copy, or you can just do control or command C. And then we select this or multiple ones if you want to. You go back up here to edit and you paste style. And see how easy that was? And maybe now you want this one to have this. So we copy this and we click this. Now this one has both style and effects. So we'll just do paste effects and it will do that, just the shadow. And if we want to, we can also paste the style. 
sometimes you don't want both of these. You just want it to stay like it was. You could go back here, edit, copy, and go back here and do edit, paste style. Now, when you do the paste style, it will undo the effects. So you got to go back here, click that, edit, copy, go back here, edit, paste effects. And now you get your shadow back. So that's something you want to think about. Now, what if I want this one to have this effects? Same thing. You click it and then you copy. Click the object that you want to paste it into. Go back to edit and paste effects. Why? Because all you see, the, all the green and all the outlines and the shadows and everything, they're all created with effects. So you want to paste that in there. And there you have it. I hope you find this little trick useful, especially when you are pasting effects and styles and colors across multiple items in your document. When you're editing any of the workbooks from us or ones that you've purchased from our partners.